Princess Diana and Prince Charles began their married life after a whirlwind courtship, and married in 1981 when Diana was just 20 years old. However, they would announce their separation in 1992, as the marriage encountered troubles after the births of Princes William and Harry. They finally divorced in 1996, the year before Diana's tragic death in 1997. In her 2007 book The Diana Chronicles, all 13 of Brown reveals how, as their marriage began to break down, the Prince of Wales started to undermine Diana in public and in front of foreign dignitaries. She recounts how, Patrick Jefferson, the Princess of Wales' private secretary, noted how Charles began to stick it to Diana during official tours. Brown continues, The Prince chose his most effective, most demoralizing weapon, intellectual superiority. During their tour of the Gulf states in 1989, Charles deliberately excluded Diana from the conversation with their royal hosts. Brown describes, over coffee, one of the emirs eventually turned to Diana and asked what Her Royal Highness planned to be doing herself on the official visit. Diana, brightening, was about to answer with a list of the earnest program of visits planned for her, but before she could reply her husband blithely stepped all over her. Shopping, isn't it, darling? He asked. Diana's private secretary Patrick Jefferson wrote how, the words dropped into the marble stillness like bricks into plate glass. He says Diana colored mumbled something inaudible, and lapsed into silence. On a 1991 trip to Brazil, Brown writes, the prince shafted her again in front of the Brazilian ambassador to Britain. On the plane out the princess lightly referred to the briefing she was reading as her homework. Charles promptly cut her down with, oh, she doesn't know a thing about Brazil. It comes as former royal butler Paul Burrell reveals in a 2017 documentary that he witnessed the Prince of Wales cutting remarks in private which were designed so, Diana, would lose her confidence. 